Hi besties, how are you all doing? So today we're gonna be making a wag going are going beans. So yeah, I have my beans. I raised these beans like five times already and they're still dirt. So I'm gonna be soaking these beans with hot water for 30 minutes. And this reason is because there's a lot of dirt in it and I need all the dirt to go away. I'm bothered by the dirt. So I have my water boiling. I'm going to be adding my cow, which is potash. And the purpose of doing this first is I want the cow to dissolve in water. Now it has dissolved. It's going to look like this now that it's dissolved. So I'm going to raise my beans and pour those beans in, in my potash, my cow water. After doing this, I'm going to stir them together. And first look at the water. It's already clear after I pour my beans which means it's doing something. So I'm going to be adding my foil paper. And the purpose of this foil paper is to seal the smell, you know, all the all the good things that come from this ever going, that the foil paper is going to seal it. So now I'm checking my beans. It's been about two hours. It's already very, very soft. Very, very soft. So it's supposed to, to be this soft before you can do anything. So I'm going to add my salt. I, I figured something. When you're adding your salt... I it's not I okay I'm gonna say don't let it be don't let it be too small or too much but anyways so I'm gonna take out free water out of this beans and the purpose of doing this I'm gonna set this aside because we're gonna need this later do this please it is very very important and I'm gonna tell you why I did that so I'm gonna match this beans now that I set the water aside I'm going to match this this beans and to however I want it to get soft. If I want it to get softer, I'll mash it more. But because I don't want it too crazy, I'm just going to 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 mash it this way. Okay. Now the purpose of the water I set aside is by the time you finish mashing, and because you're going to close this afterwards, the base is going to be too dry. So you need you need water. Like you actually need water. And this is not this is not even something to joke with. Like you really, really need the beans water. So usually whenever I make an error going, I usually add excess water. Now it's looking like this. But by the time it's cold, it's going to be strong. By the time it's cold, the beans is going to be strong. And you don't want it to be too strong. You don't want it to be hard as rock. And like no kidding. If you don't add enough water at the end it's going to be it's going to be added as rock like literally so my work going is already done like it's very done right now it is very very done this is what it should look like this is what the the consistency the texture this is what it's supposed to look like so after doing this we're going to be moving to our next step which is step two of making the work going socks sauce not sauce, sauce so i have my dry pepper and i'm going to put hot water in this as well because also i want the dirt there's a lot of sand and all of that in there i want it to go go away set that aside um i have my pot i'm going to be putting my red oil in my pot and what for this red oil i want this red oil to be to bleached yeah while this is doing it then i pour my onion and the onion how do i describe this so I put my onion. I'm going to wait for the onion to be a little bit brown. A lot brown, actually. And I'm going to go ahead and blend my pepper. My dried pepper added tatashi. And the purpose of this tatashi or bell pepper is because my husband does not like spicy food. It's just to cure the spice. The, the dried pepper is very, very spicy. And of course, onion is very, very needed. So this is what my, my onion is looking like right now. I'm going to go ahead and pour my pepper mixture. After doing this, I'm going to let it cook i'm gonna keep stirring because if you don't it's going to get burnt so i'm gonna keep keep stirring and keep stirring until you, it looks like this and we're not done keep stirring until actually look, it actually looks like this when it looks like this your ewa going sauce is ready don't let it be too black i know the idea we get is going to be don't let it to be, be too black because if it's too black you won't get it this so now look at it when you saw the beans it was a little bit watery now you can see how it look and no kidding when i said it's going to be strong and soggy if you don't if you don't pour enough water i promise you it will so now this is what our beans is looking like i added some plantain on this and i'm not a plantain person but for the sake of this video <laughs> i added plantain i was scraping plantain but i added plantain on the side and because i'm also 
I'm also in my high protein world. So I'm also going to be adding some egg and salmon. Yeah, that's my salmon fried fish. I don't eat, I don't like fried food, but because of the sake of this video, I'm going to be eating a fried food. <laughs> so yeah, this food tastes amazing. And it actually took me back all the way to Nigeria. I'm not kidding. I have experts in Ewagwe cooking. And you cannot tell me like I do. My husband no. Nobody knows my husband do. And my sisters does. Anyways, this is the Ewagwe. It tastes so amazing. It tastes so yummy. And you should try it. And tell me what you think. And how do you cook yours? Anyways, bye.